Okay, now we have our seven inch by seven inch piece of printer paper here. We're also going to need two pieces of aluminum foil. This aluminum foil is six inches by six inches, okay. and we'll need two of them, so six by six. Okay, um, we will go ahead and tape this onto our piece of printer paper, and I'm just gonna kind of center this thing up. Doesn't have to be absolutely perfect, but it looks pretty decent. And we'll go ahead and tape that down. And we'll do that all the way around the square. is done. Now we're going to take our tube here. This is our 7 inch tube and we want to take our tin foil and we want to wrap this around the tube so that it is as tight as you can get it on there. All right, so about like that and same thing, tape this on there. So it feels pretty tight. I should have had some tape ready. I did not. Get that back on. Okay, wrap it around, throw the tape on, and I'm going to go all the way across that, that seam. And then I'll tuck the ends of the tape back underneath the two. So, like that, and like that. Make sure it's pressed down well. Okay. okay, next. So we have that piece. We're now going to grab our paper with the tin foil taped onto it. And what we're going to do is wrap, wrap it around this tube, making sure that it's the paper that's coming in contact with the foil on this one. Okay. So when I wrap it, I want to make sure that the tape, or that I have it this way because we don't want the metal tin foil from this to touch the metal on this. Because we're making a capacitor, and if you remember, the capacitor is just a piece of tin foil or a piece of metal plate separated by some material and then another metal plate. So essentially, we have this separated by paper, and then it's wrapped around this one right here. So I pull it. Wrap it tight, and then I'm going to use a piece of masking tape to hold it there. Okay. And then I'm going to go ahead and, and tape that seam. Okay, so now I have that seam taped, and I should be able to slide my tube. It should slide relatively easily back and forth. Okay, so that's what we're looking for. If it doesn't, then pull the tape back off there, make it just a tad looser so that you can move it back and forth because this is how we're going to go about tuning it.